So there are lots of times when you walk into a photo shoot situation and everything is perfect. The room is really, really, really interesting and you don't have any problems at all trying to figure out what exactly you're going to do in the space. But there are times when you walk into a room and you kind of go, I don't know. So for this shoot, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I know that the room is very, very tiny and very, very, very plain. But with that in mind, I'm going to be using a wide angle lens. Uh, this is the Fuji 16 to 55 millimeter. It is new to me. This is going to be the first shoot that I'm using. So I'll give my thoughts about that later on in another post. This is my uh, X-Pro2 70 to 200, which I don't think is going to get too much use in this shoot since it's just a little bit too long. And on my uh, backup, I've got the uh, 35 millimeter F2. I've got some atmosphere aerosol spray that I think I'm going to try and use to uh, add a little bit of mood and grit to the shot. I have a uh, soft lighter over here. We've got our C stand. We've got my bag O lighting, a strip light that we're going to narrow down to uh, isolate our subject. And I'm going to also grab some gels, uh, probably red, I think, because we're going to probably simulate the dark room. All right, so this is going to be the main shooting space that we're going to be using. As you can see, it's a pretty small room, but awesome camera right here. We're going to be definitely using that in the shot. I took the liberty of turning around a few lights so that they will uh, end up in the shot as well. Um, they're not going to be actually giving any significant light to the room, but I wanted to use them anyway. Back here, this is the dark room space. Notice the red over there. We're going to be accentuating that light. We're actually not going to be shooting back here, but we're going to give the impression that there is light coming from back here. That light over there. So one of the keys to working in a room this small, and it is tiny. I think it was an eight by 10 room. That's feet. So super, super, super small. Uh, first of all, you got to squeeze all your lights in there if you're going to be using lights, which is a pain in the rump. But um, you got to decide which lights to use as far as what is there, what is ambient in the room. Um, I decided I really didn't want to use the window light because I didn't really feel like controlling it in a room that small. Um, so I needed to have my lights at a uh, level of power that was going to overpower that window light coming from outside. And then I just added my own ambient light to a level that I wanted, which is what the large soft lighter is for. The key light is actually going to be the gridded strip light. I use it gridded so that it wasn't spilling all over the place and ruining any kind of ambient light that I had uh, already set up. Um, I put it right over there because I didn't want all the light coming from the left side of the room, camera left. Um, you can see the strobes that were already in the room are set up and those are just kind of more for the look. Um, they gave him a little bit of a shine on his head, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, but for the most part, uh, they were just there for the look. And I gave a little bit of the atmosphere spray just because I figure it's a little bit clinical, a little bit too clean if there's not just a little bit of an ambient haze in there. Um, and I think that kind of adds to the mood of the shot. You couldn't see me in the back room setting up a small speed light with a red grid excuse me, a red gel, and that's what I was using to uh, create the red glow from the other side of the room. And I think that really adds to kind of adding a little bit more space in the shot as opposed to just shooting in one small corner. 